Hey everyone, welcome you to my video. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about a semantic similarity. If you are in NLP, you must have heard this term, right? So basically in NLP, we often try to find similarity between text documents, right? So let's say if you have two pieces of text, to see how similar they are or how dissimilar they are, we try to find the similarity using certain techniques. So basically you can compare two documents or two uh, sentences based on their meaning or just based on the words, the similar words, right? If I try to find a similarity between two sentences in semantic level, let's say if I look into the meaning, how closeness the meaning of two sentences are, then it is called as semantic similarity. Okay, so semantic similarity is a measure of similarity between two text documents in their semantic level. So if I look into the meaning of the sentences and try to find the similarity between those two sentences, then we call it as semantic similarity. So as I told, if you just look into the words to see how identical uh, two sentences are, then it is called as lexical similarity. Okay. So let me show you that with an example. So let's say I have one sentence which says that Sita don't know. how to read or write in English. And I have one more sentence which says that, Sita taught him how to read or write in English. So if you look into the meaning of these two sentences, it's completely opposite, right? So the first sentence says that she doesn't know English, uh, whereas the second sentence says she's teaching uh, English to someone, right? So these two sentences are completely different in terms of the meaning. So if I try to find the lexical uh, similarity between these two sentences, where I will only look for the similarity based on the words, right? So here I will get high score, right? But if I try to find the semantic similarity between these two sentences, where I will look for the meaning, then here I'm going to get very less score. Right? So in certain scenarios, we try to find the lexical similarity and in certain application, we try to find semantic similarity. Uh, there are uh, you know, uh, different applications where uh, it uses lexical similarity and different applications we have for semantic similarity. So I'll give you an example. If you try to find plagiarism check, right? if you try to find uh, the plagiarism between two documents, then here we will find the lexical similarity. We will just see whether the uh, content is being copied from anywhere or not, right? You, if you try to compare between two sentences to see whether it is copied or not, right? We will look for the lexical similarity. And uh, let's say if I do sentiment analysis where I need to look into the actual meaning of the sentence, right? So this is where I will look for semantic similarity to see how, how uh, similar they are in terms of the meaning, right? So semantic similarity is uh, has wide range of application. 
So let's say when you uh, do text summarization, uh, let's say when you try to get some relevant information, right? So in terms of information retrieval, or in sentiment and uh, sentiment analysis, or in text summarization. So these are all uh, the examples where you will look for semantic similarity, right? Uh, we'll tell you a simple uh, example. You try to search in Google, right? And you always look for relevant information. So there, it tries to find the relevant articles or relevant information where it uh, finds a semantic similarity, right? And gives you the uh, output or the required information, right? So these are the real-time examples where this semantic similarity is being applied. So there are many techniques uh, which can be used to find the semantic similarity. And when you use the uh, uh, you know, techniques, you will get some sort of score. So based on the score, you will see how similar or how dissimilar the documents are. Okay, so I hope you're clear with the lexical similarity and semantic similarity. I'll be discussing about the techniques uh, that can be used to find the semantic similarity in my upcoming videos. So stay tuned. See you in next video. Thank you all. Bye-bye.